Hey guys, Brad again from Bradley Performance Products. Coming to you from Prototype Shop here in Big Rosie, Arkansas. We got our dyno up and going, got our air fuel monitor up and going, and, and we were able to do some uh, finish work on the engine mods that we have for the T-Dub. And then I posted a little bit of that information on Facebook and it caused more questions than answers. And so it's a whole lot easier to do a video and show you what I'm talking about um, versus trying to explain it all. As I said several videos ago that we were, what we were working towards was being able to take, to be able to get XT250, late model XT250 EFI by type power out of a TW. And we've finally done it. And um, it is with all of our engine mods, but uh, what everybody wants to see is the the power curves and the power numbers and so I'm, I'm here to show you so uh, we don't have anything to hide Here we do have a brand new stock t-dub here and we also have a late model EFI XT250 and then we have uh, the bike that we've been burning down on the dyno is my personal bike which is this one that you've seen many times before with a lot of motor mods things like that so here if you can see this this is a stock TW pull, uh, our new stock one, and it's exactly what you'd expect. It's a it's a very linear um, curve, and it makes about 13 horsepower, 13.2, uh, uh, about nine and a half foot pounds of torque. Here is the torque curve uh, for stock TW. So we've all seen that. There's other places online to see it, and ours looks no different. Here is a stock EFI XT250 horsepower pull over the top of the T-Dub. And um, you can see here the XT250 is the red line. It does make, um, you know, at, at 8,000 RPMs, they make about the same power. And actually the T-Dub pulls out a little further um, into the higher RPM range than the XT does. But um, if you just find some of these dips here, you've got about, uh, let's see, two, it looks like maybe a three horsepower difference um, at the most at about 6,500 RPM between an XT and a TW. For those of you that would like to know how they compare, here it is. Um, and then this is, this next one that will be, um, I know all these colors run together on the video, but here is, here's my bike that we pulled with all of our motor mods here, the big fat orange one. So just so that it's clear, this one down here is stock T-Dub. This red one, I hope it looks red on the video, is XT250. And this one here, um, it makes about the same power as XT250 from 5,000 to 7,000 ish. Uh, but then we are getting a whole lot more big end power um, out of our um, engine kit. Um, quite a bit more than an XT250. Um, and you can see a lot more than a, than a TW. And so what are the numbers? Um, we're only looking at peaks, so if you only look at the peaks, which an XT peak is back here at about 6,800 RPMs, uh, and it's about 14.8 horse. Uh, my bike is currently at about 16 and a half, and it's at about 8,000. And then a uh, TW is 13.2, and it is at about, looks like 7,500. But that's not where we ride the bikes. That's not the RPMs that we ride them at all the time. So let me show you something really cool. Uh, let's just turn off so, so we don't make this real confusing. We'll turn, turn my bike off. Uh, hey, let's look at torque numbers. Okay, so here's the XT250 torque versus the TW stock 200. Um, and we'll throw mine back in there. Um, and so which one's mine is the blue. So yeah, I'm making uh, currently about the same torque as an XT250 up to about 6,800 and then carrying a whole lot more torque out a lot further than the XT currently. Uh, let's see, this was, this was cool to see though. Uh, let's pull, 
Um, let's turn the stock TW off. This is my bike over the XT. And this is over, uh, this is power over RPMs. Let's go to power over time. This is pretty cool. This is in seconds. So at three seconds, um, my bike's making a couple, about two more horsepower than an XT at three seconds. Through four seconds, through five seconds, it's still about a couple horsepower. Up through seven seconds, it's still a couple horsepower. Um, and then at about uh, eight and a half seconds, it looks like it's about four horsepower. Uh, when you look at how quickly it's uh, making power. Um, and then if you look at mile per hour, um, here we are again. Um, this being uh, our modified TW is making uh, more power at a faster speed than the XT. And uh, to really be able to see the difference between your stock T-Dub and what you would be doing to your engine, let's look at so, those same graphs again over stock T-Dub. And so um, for miles per hour, you can see uh, they don't start at the same time, but um, at say 40 mile an hour, you're making oh, two, two and a half more horsepower than a stock T-Dub. But at 50 mile an hour, that's a big jump right there. That appears to be maybe four and a half, five horsepower difference at 50 mile an hour. And then if we look at horsepower over time, this is the this is where it shines the most. Um, so um, at two seconds of acceleration, we're making probably four and a half more horsepower over stock T-Dub. And again, at three seconds and at four seconds, we're almost six horsepower difference. And then we're back down to about uh, four horsepower difference at five seconds. So this would be, a, this is a digital drag race at this point. So um, anyway, pretty cool to see. And, um, and the proof's in the pudding. That's all, you know, that we've heard for about a year now of having these engine mods out is what's the dyno numbers look like? What's the dyno numbers look like? Well, we've, we've spent quite a bit of time, uh, dyno testing, um, and using other people's dynos and, and swapping around and changing tires and sprockets and all kinds of things. But, um, Anyway, we finally got this all done and kind of saved and in the books. So we just want to let you know what those numbers look like for those of you that are curious. And so you can now get XT um, and more type of power uh, from the T-Dub with these engine mods. There's a lot of other questions that come along with that about reliability. Do I think it's reliable? Yes, I think it's 100% reliable. Uh, the what about fuel mileage? Yes, your fuel mileage is going to be worse. We've got bigger carburetors, bigger jets. If you're going down this route, you probably shouldn't be concerned about sipping fuel. Um, we're trying to get the maximum out of these things as possible. And so uh, the fuel mileage will be a little worse. This will allow you to pull a smaller rear sprocket and get more speed out of the bike. Yes, if that's uh, what you're looking to do, it will, it will do that. And so anyway, if you have further questions, put them down in the comments below, email me, text me, um, hit me up on Facebook or whatever, any other questions that you have. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions, but there are choices on the, uh, in the drop down menu, um, on the product page for the engine performance kit on the website. We're about to add a few more uh, options to those drop downs so you can choose whether or not you want the carburetor you can choose whether or not I think whether or not you want the exhaust anyway you can kind of pick and choose a few things on the engine performance kit and now you can choose your cams now that we have the two different cams available and we are working on um, head work and port work and some other cylinder heads so that will become another option shortly and yes this dyno run does include a new aftermarket cylinder head that we're working on. Um, does it really, does the cylinder head make uh, any more power than what we had without it? 
no, not max power, but we are able to, through other cylinder heads and, and some jetting and tuning that we're doing, we're able to just move the curve slightly, you know, up or down. So, um, just depends on how you want the bike to operate, how you're using it, and do you want it, you know, can you live with the fact that you're giving up? Let me show you, where was it? Let me go back to, right. Mm, yeah. So, you'll notice that uh, even though the roll-on was different here, if the roll-on was exactly the same, uh, this curve um, for our modified engine actually comes down below the T-dub down here at low RPMs. So if what you're, all you're wanting your bike to do is tractor around, leave it stock because down here at extremely low RPMs, like 2,500 to 4,000, you'll get more power out of a stock one. But we're taking, we're sacrificing a little bit of that tractor-like ability and adding it up top and adding it onto the big end. So if you ride your bike a little harder, these mods are for you. If you don't ride it hard and you just tractor it around, leave it alone. Anyway, that's all I had for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I answered your questions. If I didn't, like I said, hit me up uh, any, any way that, that you want to, um, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Again, I thank all of you for your business, and I appreciate your time watching the video, and I appreciate uh, all of you that support us. See you again soon. Thanks again. <laughs>